Welcome to State Television Campaign in Western Armenia, broadcast for today. Media campaign against COP29 to be held in Baku. Luis Moreno Acampo addressed the Armenians of the world. Baku expresses its protest against the decision to support Eastern Armenia under the European peace instruments. There is a danger that Artsakh will remain without an Armenian trace. And Artsakh is treated Ripsi Church. Turkish TV series are complete garbage with Russian empaths. The magic of Lavash festival gave an importance to preparation of Lavash. Vahe Sukhyasan became the winner of the second lightning chess tournament held in Putin. Luis Moreno Acampo, the former prosecutor of the International Criminal Court, suggests that Armenians all over the world to be united and to start a media campaign against the 29th UN Climate Change Conference to be held in Baku in November. He wrote an open letter about this and published it on his X blog. He suggested using the hostage COP29 and stop green for genocide free Armenian hostages or free political prisoners during the media campaign. Daily social media posts usage this hashtag with gain momentum, engage other communities and gain mainstream media attention. This coordinated effort will force journalists, delegates and non-governmental organizations participating in COP29 to get answers from Baku regarding Armenian hostages and political prisoners. Noted Acampo, Luis Moreno Acampo is sure that by uniting the world community, Armenians can achieve not only the issues of climate change, but also the issues on human rights protection and justice that can be discussed at COP29. Baku criticizes and expresses its protest against the provision of TAN aid to Armenia under the European Peace Instrument by the European Union. Baku Foreign Ministry spokesman Ayhan Hajiadze stated that Baku expects to provide transparent information about this aid. This is a very wrong and dangerous step to serve exacerbate tensions in the region. Such actions of the European Union are obviously one-sided and biased and are a manifestation of the policy of creating divisive lines in the region, stated him. Official Baku emphasized that the European Union must put an end to such steps that contribute to the policy of arms and militarization in the region. It should be noted that Foreign Minister Arad Mirzoyan also noted that this is a very important milestone in the Republic of Armenia and EU partnership, a partnership that depends based on common values and principally as well as the vision of stability, peace and prosperity. The decisions to start a dialogue on the liberalization of visas and to help Armenia from the peace fund were taken against the background of the negotiations between Yerevan and Brussels that have recently become closer. Studies show that a part of spiritual and cultural heritage of Artsakh has been destroyed and the other part is either being destroyed or is endangered. All this was completed by the fact verification platform with digital calculation. As a result of the September 2020 free war, Artsakh was completely depopulated and three months later the Caucasian Heritage Protection Organization published the announcement of the sixth monitoring of the state of cultural heritage in Artsakh. The document mentions 44 spiritual and cultural monuments, 8 of which are destroyed, 12 are damaged and 24 are in danger. In June 2024, the Protection of Caucasian Heritage Organization published the results of the 7th monitoring of cultural heritage in Artsakh. In just six months, the number of destroyed cultural monuments reached 14, the number of damaged monuments reached 12 and the number of endangered monuments reached 31. Kanatsakh is located in the Sunik region, Republic of Armenia. Among the many monuments in the village is St. Ripsime Church. In the 15th up to 18th centuries, the Kashatakh Emirship was a flourishing, exclusively Armenian populated, semi independent entity whose seat centers were Kashatakh and Kanatsakh settlements, where the Malik Haikazians ruled. The founder of this dynasty was Mr. or Prince Haikas, known from historical sources of the 15th 17th centuries. The role of Kanatsakh is unique, increased especially in the 16th century, when Melik Haikazian, the son of Melik Haikas, moved the center of Melikiti from the Kashatakh town to Knastakh and built a new palace. 
Deputy Chairman of the Committee on Final Protection, Paternity, Motherhood and Childhood Affairs of the State Duma of Russia. Russian Member of Parliament Vitaly Milonov called for a ban on the showing of Turkish TV series in Russia. He announced this during one of the Russian radio programs. According to the deputy, Turkish TV series are complete garbage. He noted that the Russian TV viewers lack a fairy tale that does not correspond to reality. According to his conviction, serials also contribute to domestic violence, as well as to the emergence of a number of intra-family problems. There are no intelligent actors in Turkey. They are all completely untalented, cheap, and tricksters. Let them show the real picture of how Turkish men use violence against women and children, said the deputy. The Magic Lavash festival was held in Arabic village of Shirak region. It took place in Lavash, a symbol of unity and power within the framework of the project. The festival was dedicated to the 10th anniversary of registering the tradition of Lavash baking in the representative list of UNESCO's Intangible Cultural Heritage of Humanity in 2014. The opening of an outdoor exhibition of lavash attempt, canvases and a wall painting by Gumri artist Levon Arakelian took place at the festival. In 2023, on the wall of the Arabic community, kindergarten Kanjian's painting bread in the mountain this year, in addition to Arabic village residents of Haikavan, Hatzik, Garmlakar, Bashkyur, communities also participated in the festival who presented local lavash and bread that produced real goods, delicious dishes and sweets in separate stalls. At last year, Artsakh cuisine and handicrafts were presented with two more pavilions. The magic of Lavash festival is aimed not only at glorifying Armenian Lavash and the women bakers who prepare it, but also at revitalization the community. The involvement of young people in the process of preservation of intangible cultural heritage and the promotion of sustainable development of the community. Fight Master Vahe Sukhasan became the winner of the second Lightning Chess Tournament held within the framework of the 17th Poti International Chess Festival Nana Alexandria Cup 2024 International Tournament. The information is reported by the Chess Federation of Armenia. The chess players scored eight top five points out of nine possible. Hakob Hakopian took second place with seven and dot five points. Fight Master Edgar Hayapetan took third place with seven points. Gagik Melkumian took the first position with five points in the battle of those with the rating. Dear viewers, this was all for today. Goodbye.